I want to start out this week by telling you thank you. If you're a partner of this ministry and you have been called to partner with us to help us do what we're doing, I'm going to say this. Thank you so much for helping us reach the world through the truth in God's Word and reach the people that, that we minister to on almost a daily basis in the prisons and the jails that these, these tablets go into. And really we do minister to them on a, on a daily basis because there's tens of thousands of tablets all over this planet or all over this nation rather that take these videos we do and, and, and just use them for the glory of God. And I thank God for what He doing through this ministry. We're seeing people born again and seeing multitudes on multitudes of people hearing the truth about who they are in that salvation. This is week six of a a study of your place in him. We're going back uh, to this in him scripture card and redoing the videos and I felt like I needed to go through this the podcast with these with this and set this up so that the people that are outside the ones that are in rehabs or are the people just out here on the street that are listening to this podcast that they would not only get to watch the videos that go into the jails and the prisons but they'd get to hear the audio uh five days a week of the scriptures that we teach on this Sunday video that comes out on the, on the podcast. So I want, like I say, I want to thank the, the partners of this ministry that helped make this possible, help us do what God's called us to do. And, and look, look here, God uses people like you to help finance what what he's called his people to do out here in this world. And and I thank God for it. I pray Mark ten, twenty nine and thirty over you today. A hundred fold return over everything that you sow into this ministry. I'm gonna say this. You don't sow into God's kingdom through a ministry like this that God's not going to bless you. I promise you. You give in to God's kingdom and he will bless you. Oh, far more than you ever realized that he'll bless you. Why? Because you're helping us do what God's called us to do. And that's to reach the world with the truth, the love, the mercy, the grace, and the goodness that God has written down for every person on this planet to live in. To live the to live in the in the truth at what God says, instead of about uh, at living in the truth of religion, because there ain't no truth in religion. Religion wants to to just just hammer us and put us in a place that 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 just keeps us down. That ain't what God's all about. God's word is true, and He wants to lift you up in that in that in that truth. So, if you're a partner, partners, thank you. If you're not a partner, Pray about becoming a partner. Pray about what God would have you to do to sow into his kingdom through this ministry to help the millions of others out here in this world that are not only not only born again, but there's many of them out here that are born again that, that need to know who that salvation has made them to be, who they have been made to be in Christ Jesus, and find their place. In Christ Jesus, their Lord and Savior. So if you're not a partner, pray about what God would have you to do to sow a financial seed into this ministry to help us reach out and, and, and teach the world who they are in Christ Jesus, their Lord and Savior, and help the ones that are getting out of jails and prisons and rehab or, or just the person that's struggling out here in life to help them. I'm talking about help them to, to lift them up and strengthen them and, and, and help them see and understand that there's hope for them in this world we live in today. I counted the privilege to be able to bring you my prayers for the world we live in. Every person on this planet needs to understand and come to the knowledge of God's love. That's the reason I do these prayers five days a week on this podcast. But I want you to I want you to understand something. I pray for you every day of my life. 
And I pray for every person on this planet that they'd come to the realization and have their eyes open to God's love, and they'll always do it through His Word. Ephesians 1.15 says, Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I have not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope He has given to those He called his holy people, who are his rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ who fills all things everywhere with himself. Ephesians 3.14 says, When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from His glorious unlimited resources, He will empower you with inner strength through His Spirit. Then Christ will make His home in your hearts as you trust in Him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep His love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able, through his mighty power at work within us, to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him and the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations, forever and ever, I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank God that he opens my eyes to that love more and more every day of my life. And he does it through his word. Let's see what God's word has to say today. Father, I thank you and I praise you, God, for your word. Lord, guide me. Use me for your honor and your glory. Holy Spirit, touch my mind and touch my mouth. Help me be the light and the vessel, Lord, that you can shine through, that you can speak through today. And I'll forever give you all the praise and glory for it all. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. Uh, We're going into... First Thessalonians today, and this is a this is such a a great scripture to meditate on and to understand that my goodness, there's a day coming that wow, what a day! And and I let just let me read it. Uh, First Thessalonians four sixteen in the King James it says, "For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven." With a shout, and with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. The New Living Translation says, For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a commanding shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump, trumpet call of God. First, the believers who have died will rise, first, for, will rise from their graves. This is talk about the resurrection, our resurrection. When when the dead in Christ, if 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 I, if I die before Christ comes back, when 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 Christ comes back, I have the promise that I will be resurrected with a shout from my Lord and Savior, and 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 I'm just I'll be resurrected in an instant. And I'm not going to get into eschatology and all the things that comes with it, but this is this is such a a wonderful, wonderful thing to meditate on, because we're promised 
We're promised this resurrection. Let me read it in the Amplified Classic. It says, For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a, sh- with a loud cry of summons, with the shout of an archangel, and with the blast of a trumpet of, of the trumpet of God. And those who have departed this life in Christ will rise first. My goodness. What, 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 is it, what are we promised today, people? That we will rise again in Him, in Christ Jesus, and and when we when we talk about this and when we uh, really reflect on it, you got to understand where we're where we're going to be at that time, and when Christ comes back and gets this gets His church us. Now, I'm not talking about a building or a sanctuary. I'm talking about His church, His bride, which is. Us, the born again people on this planet, when he comes back and gets that, in an instant we'll be changed. Our bodies, I've heard this all my life, and but uh, they said if if you've been burned up, if you've been cremated, and your your uh, your ashes have been strode to the wind in the ocean or, or out in the desert or whatever it may, whatever your death, well, however they buried you or if, if you were, if you died in, out in the, in the wilderness and, and, and nobody ever knew it. When all but when Christ, if you're born again, when Christ calls us home, when he comes back and pulls his church out, let me let me explain, explain it. He, the Bible talks about it. it said, "With the dead in, in Christ shall rise first. So our bodies, as as uh, as they have went back to the dust, will come back together, and we will find ourselves with Him, with Him in heaven, and not in the bodies that we uh, we live in now, not in this." This fleshly body, but in a in a new a new body, and something that is going to live forever, and and the curse will be completely pulled off of this flesh we live in. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine a time that that when when our Lord and Savior calls us out? And like I say, when yeah, if, if you've been if you've been cremated or or something horrible has happened to your body, it all comes back together perfect, and we get a glorified body, and and we get to have that body for the rest of our days, and that that's a that's a blessing in itself, just to know that the the curse that we live in on this earth. We've been redeemed from it now. I understand that, but you're still dealing with the the obstacles that the, that that we deal with carnally on this earth every every day of our lives. And I, I re, you know what I really look forward to more than anything that that we'll get to see things as they really are. You know, on this earth, you know, science, modern science has talked about it, said that, you know, we only use 10 to 15 percent of our brain, our, our capacity to think and, and to operate in this world. And there's some that they say uses more, but, but, uh, they are, they're just different. You know, talking about people that, you know, have a, a, a gift that they can look at numbers and, and, and use numbers or play a piano or something. But at, at the time we're talking about now, when we have been raised to life and, and my goodness, when, when, when all the, the, the curse and what we deal with on a daily basis that blocks our ability to be able to really Soak up everything that's around us. When all that's gone, you'll be able to see clearly what you've what you've uh, really missed a lot on in, during your lifetime. And when you receive that glorified body, and and you're operating one hundred percent in your in in the, the in the literal uh, glorified state that you have been put in when you're raised from the dead. My goodness, 
what how how much you will be able to understand. Yeah, I, I honestly believe that that in, in that instant. When all the the hindrances of the, of the the fleshly world we live in today is taken away, when we or when we are raised again in Him and in Christ Jesus, and fully understand what what has went on and what is going on around us, it will just I'm talking about delight, joy that you've never that you've never experienced. And, and there again, we talk about the joy of the Lord is our strength. And, uh, that's, this is what we need to understand today. That by faith, we can take this, this understanding and operate in it spiritually now. But can you imagine physically what it's going to be like? I mean, literally. Uh, I, I, I heard a, a preacher talk about it one time when the veil is pulled back and you really see what, what's been going on around you your entire life and, and you understand the things that, that have been just, just really, uh, distracted away from you. And I don't want to say just hidden, but a lot of things are hidden from us. We don't see the, the, uh, spirit realm and don't understand a lot of things that goes on around us on a daily basis but when we when 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 Christ calls us out when he calls the church out what a glorious time that will be because our our we will receive a new body instantly we'll rise again we in him in Christ Jesus in the fullness of him and today we I, I say this all the time, but we're as saved today as we'll ever be. Our spirit man is 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 is, is as saved today as we'll ever be. But but our flesh will be glorified, and I, we will receive a brand new shell, a brand new body to operate in, one that's free of all the hindrances of this world, one that is. That, that is, has the ability to, to operate at 100% capacity. God has, has, has promised, promised us when all this comes. My goodness, what a, what a wonderful day that will be. Let me read this again in the King James Version. It says, For the Lord Himself oh, shall descend from heaven with a shout. And with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Boy, that's, that's going to be a day that I have really looked forward to for a lot of years now. Because when all this is said and done, we can stand up and believe and know and understand what God has, has promised us that we have, we have been set apart. And, and, and we, our, our spirit man is just as saved today as, as it, as he ever has been since we got made our, give our hearts and life to Jesus Christ. But there, the, and there, in this day, our body is going to be changed in an instant and we're going to be pulled out and, and we're going to see things and understand things that we've often wondered about in our lifetime. And it's going to be, it's going to be so clear. That thrills me. I'm talking about thrills me to no end of what we are, what, what we have been promised. Now I'm going to ask a question today. If I'm going to ask the question, have you been born again? Do you have that promise that if you died today, heaven is your home? You know, a lot of times I ask that question and, and I hear, I hope so. I hope I've done everything right. This, this is not a hope so thing. This is not a carnal hope. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna put it that way. Carnality, carnal hope says it's a wish. I hope I've done everything right. I'm wishing that, you know, everything turns out the way it should. No, I don't want you doing that. I want you to settle it today. If you've never been born again, if you've never made Jesus Lord, now I'm not asking if you've begged God to forgive you 10,000 times because we've all done that. No, I'm asking you, have you ever made Jesus Lord of your life? 
and allowed him to save you, allowed him to bear you into God's family through his blood, through his sacrifice. Romans 10 and 9 says, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and thou shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, it says you shall be saved. It don't say you might be if you're good enough. It says you shall be saved if you'll just do what he said. Confess Jesus by faith as your Lord and Savior. Confess him. Say you are my Lord and Savior today. I thank you and I praise you for saving me because G- because God my Father raised Jesus Christ from the dead to justify me. Oh, do that today. Make Jesus Christ Lord of your life today and watch him change your life forever. Glory to God. Hey, listen, go to our website. And get in contact with us. Download this phone app and get a hold of what God is doing. What he is doing. I'm talking about every day through this podcast. Download this app and get six days a week coming to you free of charge to your phone. Do that today. Download this 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 uh, this app and get this podcast to make you strong. Not through, not through my speaking, but through the truth in God's word. Now, if you're a partner of this ministry, partners, thank you. I praise God for faithful partners that sow into this ministry on a regular basis. A lot of people sow into this ministry on a monthly basis to help us reach the world for the truth, for, for the glory of God and to give them the truth in what God has said to them, for them, and about them. And if you're not a partner, Pray about becoming a partner. Pray about what God would have you to do to help us reach more people on this planet for him, to, to see people's lives change, to see people's, to, to see people's uh, lives come into a new light, and that, that light is through the truth in God's word. Pray about that today. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com.